So, you want to get the vintage look. I have gotten a lot of comments asking me about uh, how I get the sort of look and style that I uh, give off in some of my videos. I know that I've had to learn um, and teach myself how to sort of get here. I feel bad, so it's time for me to give back to others, and it, especially during the holidays, and teach you guys how to get the sort of vintage retro look that I have. All right. So I'm going to be comparing Fujifilm's XS10 with the iPhone 11 Pro as well as Panasonic's G7. As you can see I provided the price so therefore you can work within whatever range that I'm going to be showing. The camera that I have doesn't actually have F-Log so therefore I lowered the saturation, the highlights, the shadows, the contrast, all that so therefore it's, you know, gets as close to F-Log as possible. Over here for my phone I'm going to be using Filmic Pro. Now, the F-Log is a little bit shoddy, I'll show you in the test comparison videos, it's not really the best. First things first, go to YouTube and type in Film Grain Overlay for Premiere Pro. That's going to bring up a lot of videos, that's going to be perfect, so therefore you can get the touch. Now, don't use this one, <laughs> as you can see, I didn't really know, it's a black background. You're going to want one that looks more like this, white background simply the grain. You're going to want to find a website just like this to be able to download your film grain videos. And once you have it, just open up Premiere Pro. Now if you're using Filmic Pro on your phone, here is a little short video to show how you can save the video to your files so you can then save those videos onto your computer and re-upload them into Premiere Pro. Alright, so here is some test footage. Here are the regular videos in comparison now that they are in F-Log. Now, this is the same video, same comparison, but this was color graded with a LUT that you can download for free on Google, and the grain was added in. Now, this is the bright light test. I'm going to start comparing each camera when it comes to bright light. Now I underexposed for Panasonic's G7, so therefore iPhone 11 Pro and Fujifilm's XS10 are a little bit more comparable. Um, the iPhone works better in bright light rather than dark light, and you're going to see that in a bit. Alright, so this, this is me in another room, this is the low light test. Now if you're shooting on iPhone 11 Pro, as you can see, obviously don't try underexposing because the F-Log, as previously mentioned, already is not up to snuff. So in comparison, you can see the Fujifilm's XS10 and the Panasonic G7 are very much close to each other, but iPhone 11 Pro just kind of sort of lags behind. Now this may have seemed more like a comparison video than a tutorial on how to get the retro look, but really I'm trying to get across how easy it is to sort of get this look with any sort of camera that is available around you. So hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully you like, comment, subscribe, it's a little weird for me to say that because it's my first time, I got 1k views before, like it got me hyped, what can I say? So, have a great one, stay safe, I hope you enjoy the video.